Hey, hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Etho, and today, guys, we are black on the Hermitcraft server. Yes, we are. And we are going to have some fun here. <laughs> I just wanted to play a game of Lucky Break to get things going for today. So you got to pay... How's this work again? You got to pay... Special offer, one lapis block per break. Break two, get one break free. Okay, we got the receptionist. Do not kill. Prize donations. Wait, that's the receptionist. Who's this guy? Just a random Eddie, I guess. Prize donations. I think you gotta pay somewhere. I'm just gonna pay three diamonds. I think it was one diamond each, right? Each break? Yes. <laughs> uh, so what you do, if you remember, you break one of these pieces of sandstone and underneath... Or no, I think you can break any block. And underneath is these uh, droppers. And this is your prize. Got some golden carrots and some redstone. Very nice. We are going to try this one. Oh, diamond refund. And let's go for this one. Just stone. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, we got one, one free diamond there. We're going to go one more time. See if we get anything good. We got a Depth Strider 3 book last time, which was amazing. And I'm actually using it right now on these boots. Let's see if we can get anything like that again. Ho, oh, baby! <laughs> Jackpot! Wow, that is a prize. If I've ever seen one, I will definitely take that. That, that was a good way to end it. <laughs> I thought we were just going to get junk, but, uh, yep, I'm a, I'm a happy camper now. Uh, I wanted to show you guys something too here before we head back to our base to do some work. Uh, they hooked up a thing, I think False Symmetry did, I'm not sure though, where you walk into Hermit Thrills here. Check this out, check this out. There's a tripwire here. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I really like that. Uh, I would not want to be in charge of refilling it, but uh, I do appreciate it. Whoever is putting the effort forth. Alright. Ouch. So we're going to head over to our base and maybe uh, get started on, on a project there. Or, or do something, anyway. I'm going the wrong way. No! <laughs> Leave me alone! Oh, they got me, guys. They got me bad. So bad. This blew up my blew up our tunnel here, our beautiful tunnel. Oh so sad right now. <laughs> I'll fix it in a, I'll fix it later, I guess. So yeah, welcome to the base guys. We I know I said I wasn't gonna light that up and that I wanted it a bit dangerous. Starting to rethink that that plan now, because <laughs> that's twice I've had creepers blow up in this tunnel and I've had to fix it. Uh, I did change out the sea lantern lights here with glowstone again. I think I like that quite a bit more. And I got a couple things to show you guys. So first off, uh, worked on this bridge a little bit more. Started extending out that way. Built like a support column for it over there. Still needs a bit of work, I would say. And yes, <laughs> it might not be the most structurally sound thing. It's got lava in the middle, but I like the way that looks. So yes. We will go with it. Also, started ripping this down already. <laughs> a lot of you guys were not too happy with the barrel. Some of you said to use spruce wood, but I think just in general, it's a little bit detail lacking. So we're going to rip it out here, get rid of it. Um, it was also suggested, put in this lava fall last time. Here, let's go back up. Try to go through all the changes real quick here. Uh, it was suggested that I should raise up the fo the lava fall here, and it would look better. So I did that, and I do like that quite a bit more, because b before the lava started at about that level there, and you could look down on it. Now it's it's coming from a higher up angle, so I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I want to build like a little covering over the bridge here. Like just put down some stairs and a roof over top this thing, even though it 
<laughs> we have stone above us right now, but I'm probably going to chop this out and it'll be open a little bit more. So we got to build a fake covering to replace the covering we're, we're taking out, if that makes sense. Hmm, yes, perfect sense, right? <laughs> My only concern is it's really ugly. <laughs> I'm trying to work out what I like here, and it's not going so well. So, I tried changing up the cobblestone stairs with uh, stone brick stairs because the cobblestone seemed like it was too too much noise, hurt the eyes too much. But this whole thing is kind of a mess now. <laughs> Let's see. This needs to be a different material, right? That's what's wrong. And maybe this is a different material. I like the general shape of it, though. But we got some issues. I tried having vertical wood here. And then I tried changing it to sideways. And we got to incorporate some lighting here and stuff. We'll work something out. Don't you worry. I did notice something pretty interesting while building this, though. It occurred to me, like right below us is the lava in that s the column below. And none of this wood is catching on fire, so I think the fire tick is actually off on the server. And we can use that to our advantage uh, as we're building stuff here. Aha. Uh -huh. And we're using a lot of lava and fire with our build, so that'll be pretty useful, actually. There we go, guys. So I uh, changed out the wood here with some stone. And I liked it a bit more, but I'm still not really sold on it. I can't decide. You know what I find, like, as as we get more and more blocks in this game, I have a much harder time building, because there's so many more options. Like, you remember the game before Upside Down Stairs, even? <laughs> Just simplified things so much, and now it's like, anything I have to build, as simple as it might be, like this little stupid thing, I have such a hard time with it now. Yes, we will keep it. For today, anyway. Let me know what you think of it. Uh, what we're going to do, guys, let's see, maybe let's put this together a bit more. Uh, we're going to start a room over here, and I want to build a banquet hall type of thing. You know, like with the big tables, and we'll put like cakes on the tables, and, and what do you call it, clay pots that, that look like cups, I guess. I don't know, that kind of thing. Oh, and the plan is... Get out of here. You're distracting us. We'll have a doorway to get into the room. Um, we'll do the same sort of dealio we did on the other rooms here with the chiseled chiseled bricks highlight things. And I think we did it like this. And that, and that, and one slab over here. Alright, and then we'll go in maybe three on the fifth block. We will do another door uh, for inside the room. I'm not going to build it on camera, but we'll just lay it out. Oops. We'll build a little bit. Okay, so on both sides, we'll have another door frame. Then inside the room here, we'll have this uh, minecart track go down the middle. We are going to have to get more spruce wood. I put the torches right in the middle. <laughs> So that I would destroy them. How perfect is that? Um, yeah, we'll have the our cart track go down the middle here. And then on both sides of this track is uh, where we'll put the banquet tables. So the door frame will be about here. We'll have a table on the left here. Another big table on the right. Two tables. Then down at the middle here at the very end, we'll have a big statue of a, a dwarf or, or something. And we're going to give this room a function, like an over-the-top type of function. You know when you're, when you're playing the game, you go through food really quickly, I find. Like, a stack of food does not last me very long. Um, I'll blow through one, like, every episode at least, usually. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll come into this room, ride our minecart up to the statue in the middle here, pull a lever or something, and he's going to vomit food on us <laughs> to refill our... Uh, our food stash to keep us going. Because normally what you do, you just go up to your storage room, you open a chest, 
grab some more food and and that's it it's there's nothing really to it but we're going for like an over the top sort of feel with this base like we did with our our crazy furnace room over there so we'll do it with a food room here as well and then over top the banquet tables on both sides here we're going to try set up some balconies so this track is going to fork at the statue because we got to stop right we don't want to be we don't want to have to get out of our minecart here, so we'll stop to the left and to the right. It'll go up some stairs and over top the, the balconies outside the room and get back into the cave here. This is the general layout uh, I want to do with this. So I'm going to do maybe a little bit of uh, land clearing here and uh, set up the doors, that kind of stuff, and we will get to the rest of that. Okay, everybody, so we got some space cleared out here. Oh, hey, Tango. Late night crew for the win. <laughs> it's always like me and Tango on at nighttime here. And then if we stay up really light, like Azuma will come on in the morning for him. <laughs> uh, very good. Very good. Oh, very good. Let's give him a, bear, a very good here. Very good. Yes. He'll appreciate that. Okay, so the lava falls right next to us here. Let's not put anything like within this area here. We'll go past that. Mm hmm, berries. Uh, let's start setting up these banquet tables. So, probably want to build it out of spruce wood to keep consistency with the rest of the base. And probably want at least two blocks away from this track. So, the chairs we will do out of oak, though. Yes. Yes, okay. And it's just a classic sort of table. Uh, stairs like this. And how far, how long should this table be? It's got to be impressive. We have to overcompensate for my my bad building. <laughs> uh, let's do three, four, five chairs. Is that enough? I do like odd numbers. That's a pretty good size. Yeah, I think we'll stick with that. Okay. And just kind of carry on. You know, I cleared out the most space on that side, and then I started building on this side. <laughs> yeah, I called it, guys. Look at this. Azuma just came on. Late night crew. Uh, he's in Europe, so it's early morning for him. Late for us. We're going to get rid of the stairs here, because it looked a bit cramped. And instead, we're going to have uh, slabs. But at certain intervals here, we'll have a stair to make it look like a leg. Don't you hate it when you get the seat that has a leg right right where you want to sit? Oh, that, that bugs me so much. <laughs> uh, so we'll put that away from the chairs. The chairs will be next to the leg. Uh huh. And then on the table here, we need to just like add cups and cake and some other random things while nobody's sitting there. Uh for decorations. I was also thinking, I don't know if it's possible, but how cool would it be to have like an ice sculpture <laughs> in the middle of the table? Like something really fancy. I don't think I can get any level of detail out of this though, but we'll see. See if we can do anything with it. If not, we'll put like a tree, not a tree, but like a plant in the middle. Alright, so this is the, mi the middle. How can we make something cool we can't, can we? <laughs> I think ice sculptures are... No, they're going to be too big, too bulky. Okay, so we won't do that. We could put like uh, some candlelight uh, things in the middle here too. And actually chandeliers from the ceiling would be neat to do. Uh, yeah, something like that maybe. Maybe a little bit less bulky. Anyway. Let's not worry too, too much about the details. Uh, what we'll do then, further off to the wall here, I want to have a balcony, so some su supports for it would be good. Uh, let's do, 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 maybe one block away from the chairs. We'll just do like a, uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> stop doing that. There we go. Uh, we'll do stairs around a, a beam. So we'll do that out of dark wood. 
have it go up and then do the stairs uh, around it again to make it look like it's holding something up. And then I am misclicking like a fool here. What, why does that keep happening? I'm glitching into so many blocks. I'm trapped. <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah, you can free yourself from these if you place a block into it. Some people, they always re-log. But sometimes it's just easier to re-log, honestly. Okay, so do that and then have like a balcony, maybe two blocks tall, going across here. And space these every maybe one block. So we'll, then we'll have another one over here. And repeat that all the way along here up to the, to the end of the room, I guess. So we're in the middle of building these balconies right now, guys. That's what it looks like from the outside view. This is what it looks like from up, up on top one of these things. And what we'll probably end up doing here is running a, a track. The only concern I have is I put like a railing here because I thought it looked kind of nice, but we might not be able to see over it as we go by here. I, I was hoping we could look down into the room as we go by, but now I'm wondering how to do that because this was going to be three wide and then the wall was going to be over here um, but if we're in a minecart can we see down there we cannot not at all darn it <laughs> we would have to raise the minecarts up to this level I think and possibly move it one block closer even then it, you can't really see too much can you hmm what if it was over here? Just trying to decide how I want to position this stuff. Oh, where's my minecart? There we go. Okay, from here, we can see that table and the start of the second table there, but not really too much more either. Okay, so I thought about this a little bit. I decided let's keep the rail on this level here, on the down low. Uh, I was going to raise it up a block, but think that'll look a little messy. The minecart should not appear above the railing, right? Sure. That makes sense, right? <laughs> okay, so we have the fork here to go either left or right. We're going to stop right in front of the statue that we're supposed to build over here in the middle. Uh, that's what's going to eject the food onto us. And then we can decide to go to left or right. And they'll probably lead out of this room to different places in the cave here. Uh, different destinations depending on which way we choose but we got to build a staircase to go up to the balconies all right so let's do that let's grab our spruce wood here um yeah do we should we do a three wide thing let's see three wide actually no because yeah, it looks weird if uh, if that's spaced out. We should keep the stairs right next to the rails. And maybe let's build this up and just see how we can get it to connect to up there. Okay. Uh, so some big news, guys. I don't know if you guys saw this. If you're a Terraria fan, <laughs> like I am, uh, big news. They are doing the 1.3 update, and it sounds like it's coming out towards the end of the month. So hoping to play that with Zisto when it comes out and that'll be a series on the channel. We did the 1.2 update a long time ago. It was like over a year ago, I think, on the channel here. And had a lot of fun with that. So hopefully that all works out. And it's a lot of fun. They're also making another game called Terraria Overworld, I believe it was called. Uh, and it almost it looks to me, I don't know if that it is what I think it is, but it looks like Terraria 2, basically. Like... They updated the game engine, probably, and the graphics and all that kind of stuff. But it's a similar type of game, as far as I can tell. I just watched the trailer for it, and it uh, looked pretty good. I'm really excited about that as well. Alright, I think this is okay, like this. And that leaves us how much space here? Quite a bit of space to put something in the middle. Oh yeah, look at this guys. This room's coming together pretty quickly actually. Pretty happy with this so far. 
Uh, I just installed some of the rail stuff. We're going to try it out just to make sure it works. But, like that we can actually get up to here without it uh, running into anything. Sometimes it has trouble on corners, like tight corners like that. So I just want to double check. And I was going to put a light here. I think that's okay. It's not too low. All right. Do the trap door thing. And I did this on one of the sides. I do actually really like that. So I think we'll do it over here too. Okay. Oh, but I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Let's do the, the minecart thing before I forget. And we probably won't build the statue today, but I'll try to set it up so it can function. And then if you guys have ideas for it, please let me know in the comments like what the statue should be of. If it should be a dwarf or something else. Maybe you have a good idea that I, I haven't thought of. That would be easy to model. <laughs> Alright, so we'll come down here. We'll stop here. Switch a lever if we want some food. Otherwise, we can go left or right. Choose our path. Oh, see, that's what I was afraid of. It's bumping into that stair. If I hold forward, then we can go. Interesting. Hmm, I really do like that stair, though. <laughs> I don't want to lose it. Yeah, it's that one stair doing it. Darn. Okay, we might have to make a modification here. Um, <laughs> what could we do, though? If that is a full block, let's see what happens. It probably would do the same thing, right? Let's double check. Yeah, same thing. Okay. It's because we needed, like, one more block before we went up here, I guess. Uh, it'll be fine, though. I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so let's get to the, the middle part here, the statue. What I'm going to do, we could just have like a dispenser up high that shoots items at us. The problem with that, though, uh, this is supposed to work without us leaving our minecart. And if we just use a dispenser, they shoot the items randomly. And that isn't very good because most of them are going to miss us and we're not going to be able to get them. So instead, what we'll probably want to do is set up an ice path up here so that the items very uniformly get shot out towards us. And we'll try to hide this into the statue the best we can, if possible. All right, so let's just try get an idea how far back this would need to go. Um, we need a sign at the end of this. Actually, we can just use a slab or something. Yeah, that works. Yeah, let's make this a bit further. Get some lighting in here so we can see. And I'm just going to throw down a water bucket. See what happens. The items should go underneath that, right? Okay, we got a piece of ugly granite here. Let's see where it goes. Okay, it shot out a little bit past the minecart. So we, we wouldn't really need too much of a ice path to do this. That's good. Okay. So yeah, if you guys have ideas for something that's like six tall, seven tall at the most, and like that wide or so, I think we could build something pretty cool there, hopefully. Um, what else? What else? Let's see. Yeah, just a lot of polishing left to do here, I guess. Uh, I tell you what, guys, I think maybe we will end the episode here for today. Uh, if you have ideas for the base, let me know, of course. Got to put in a floor. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I, was, I wanted to put some wool around the tables, like some kind of pattern. Um, would it look bad if we had oak over here? Kind of. But like over here, I want to put uh, some carpet down, I think. Yes. Okay. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.